Built on a legacy of luxury and excellence, the SS Matsonia was a cherished marvel in the realm of ocean liners. This grand vessel first emerged from the shipyards in 1932, launched by the Matson Navigation Company. With her sleek lines and luxurious accommodations, she cut a distinctive figure on the sea and quickly became a treasured component of Trans-Pacific service. Running regularly between San Francisco and Honolulu, she played a pivotal role not only in the luxury travel of her time, but also in the broader historical context, as the United States was grappling with the challenges of the mid-20th century. From her launching, the Matsonia was destined to become the gold standard of American passenger shipping. She was capable of accommodating over 700 passengers, and the amenities aboard made for a comfortable and enjoyable journey across the Pacific. A trip aboard the Matsonia was a splendid affair, with elegant staterooms, exceptional dining experiences, and activities such as swimming, dancing, and starlit nights on deck. As the United States entered World War II in 1941, the SS Matsonia's role changed. With the country's entry into the conflict, the military realized the strategic advantage of using large ocean liners for the transportation of troops. In 1942, the Matsonia was requisitioned by the United States Navy, refitted, and repurposed to serve as a troopship. The conversion of the Matsonia from luxury liner to troopship required considerable alterations. Her lavish passenger accommodations were modified to transport servicemen, with most of the previous amenities stripped away. Bunk beds replaced staterooms, and the grand dining halls were converted into mess areas. The swimming pool, a once gleaming symbol of the Matsonia's luxury, was drained and repurposed as a cargo hold. The vessel's capacity was significantly increased to carry thousands of troops at a time. In her new role, the Matsonia made countless journeys, shuttling servicemen from the mainland to the front lines in the Pacific. Her regular voyages became vital for the deployment of troops, providing a reliable and efficient means of getting men to where they were needed most. She not only brought fresh troops to the battleground but also carried wounded soldiers back home. But the Matsonia was not merely a vessel for transporting troops. It became, in its own way, a symbol of hope. For the servicemen setting off for the front lines, it represented their commitment to the cause and their brave determination. And for those returning home, the sight of the Matsonia on the horizon was a beacon of solace and the promise of a safe return. After the war, the Matsonia was returned to her original purpose. She was refurbished and again offered the public a luxurious and enjoyable voyage across the Pacific. Despite the return of elegance and sophistication, the Matsonia carried with her a sense of purpose and history from her wartime service that would forever be part of her legacy. Through the decades that followed, many Navy servicemen would remember their voyages on the SS Matsonia. Whether it was the anxiety-laden journey towards the battleground or the relief-filled voyage back home, the Matsonia became an integral part of their wartime experiences. Through their stories and memories, the legacy of the Matsonia continues to sail on, a testament to the spirit of service, resilience, and commitment.
did don't call him Woodenhead, Woodenhead don't. He couldn't spell Constantinople, didn't know beans from bones. Pencils and books were never made for Woodenhead, Woodenhead don't. Now the teacher told his mother she would take him right in hand and teach him a thing or two. And like his older brother, he began to understand. He learned everything she ever knew. All of the kids, teacher Kelly, candy and ice cream cone. And who do you think the teacher married? Wooden head, wooden head, He 
teacher carried candy and ice cream cones. And who do you think the teacher married? Wooden head, wooden head, She would take him right in hand and teach him a thing or two. And like his older brother, he began to understand. He learned everything she ever knew. All of the kids, teacher carry candy and ice cream cones. But who do you think the teacher married? Wooden head, wooden head, Spell Constantinople, didn't know beans from bones. Pencils and books were never made for wooden head, wooden head Jones. Now the teacher told his mother she would take him right in hand and teach him a thing or two. And like his older brother, he began to understand. He learned everything she ever knew. All of the kids, teacher Kelly, candy and ice cream cones. And who do you think the teacher married? Wooden head, wooden head Jones. She would take him right in hand and teach him a thing or two. And like his older brother, he began to understand. He learned everything she ever knew. All of the kids, teacher carry candy and ice cream cones. But who do you think the teacher married? Wooden head, wooden head, Much obliged you hopped on board for this snazzy trip through American life in the 1940s and 1950s, all captured through nifty vintage photographs. If this flick's got your motor running, don't be a square. Click on that jolly bucket of bolts to subscribe to the channel for more top drawer content just like this. Thank <laughs> you.